The hook point on the back allows for you to be nerdy, but I won't pass judgment. Right here, Alpaca just recently came out with a zip card pouch. And it definitely came in a plastic pouch, so let's get this out and take a look. Well, we've got some instructions here on the front, which are nice, gives us some information about it. And if we look closely, we can see the sewing and how it's done. Uh, it's normal for the Alpaca products to see this kind of sewing going on. And let's see if we open this up. We've got some packing in here. Oops, looks like we've got some do not eat film. That would not go well. You can see the interior. Well, it comes in that hunter orange, which we'll talk about briefly. And I like how this zipper works. Also comes in black and gray. When will you ever appreciate a zipper wallet? Too much like a purse? Well, your pants have a very important zipper, so hold on there, Skippy. Externally, we have a card slot right here. Capacity of one to two cards, tickets, business cards, etc. And we have this external attachment point on the back. This is really good for use with Alpaca's hub ecosystem or a tether connection point uh, just for your own belt if you want to keep things from uh, pickpockets. We got the zipper. This is really for security, for its contents, obviously. And uh, this is a YKK silent zipper. It is rather quiet. And I've got this stay flat portion. This is what I really like. So the zipper pull isn't just flapping around all the time. This provides a mechanism for it just stays flat. As we go into it, we have three internal slots. We have one on both sides right here, one and two, and then the main slot right here, really for anything that goes in there. This main compartment capacity of 12 to 20 cards, including coins, trackers, uh, anything due to the zipper because it just maintains the integrity of the wallet itself. The wallet measures 4.7 by 3.2 by 0.6, and it weighs 40 grams or 1.4 ounces. All right, let's see what the zippity doo can do. As you saw, I got seven cards, uh, five notes in here. Uh, I've got the Apple Air Tag. You can put keys, tool cards, small glasses. The company recommends up to 20 cards. This is designed in Australia and made in China. The exterior is made using Alpaca's Axoflux 210D ripstop nylon. The interior, it's also an Aeroflux, but it's a high vis orange. Uh, two day, uh, 210D ripstop nylon as well. And the ripstop nylon is very durable for daily use and water resistance. Excellent reinforcement on the exterior card slot. You can see on here and over here, this really helps keep it from tearing out. And as I've mentioned already, I like the YKK zipper because of quality and it's silent as well as this stay flat. I, I just really, really like that. The price on this is $39. I think fairly reasonable. From a usability perspective, the exterior pocket can be a bit slippery that you've got to be careful of, especially depending on what you have in there. The fact that I have quite a bit on the interior creates that outward pressure. So it kind of holds this card in place, but you know, there's no grippies on the interior here to hold cards in like we see with other wallets like Alette as an example. So just be mindful that this card or cards, whatever you might have in there, you could have cash, whatever, uh, might have a mind of its own depending on what you're doing. I also want to note that the zipper is not waterproof and many people don't like this high-vis orange interior as it draws attention, but I like it and appreciate it so you can find what you're looking for. I mean, conversely, we have this almost, you know, three-quarter zip. You still have to open it up. You still have to understand and maybe dig in here. So having complete visibility uh, because of this high-vis, I think is really helpful and beneficial. Now, some have complained that uh, with only two card slots, one on each side on the interior, you get a, a fair amount of card clashing of cards that could rub against each other and have wear and tear, which is true. And if it opened a bit more, then dedicated card slots could have been managed a lot better, I feel. Now, the hub ecosystem you can see here, which this hook on the point of the back allows you to, well, I guess be a little bit nerdy, but I won't pass judgment. Finally, simple in function, and the size is very reasonable for cards that you carry around and other little small things. That, you know, really anything with a zipper will naturally increase and create some bulk. But overall, I really like the overall size and function of this particular wallet. So what improvements could we made to make this wallet a little better and to make it stand out? Let us know in the comments below. Now on to the final score. For quality of four, price of three, 
Features a three, it's good but could have done more with the interior. Usability a three, good but could have been a little wider, more with the exterior card slot or maybe another one. And perception of four, Alpaca just continues to crank out all kinds of good products. And that gives us a final score of 3.5 out of five. We've reviewed a number of Alpaca carry options, so look at this video next and we will see you in the next review. Goodbye.